All right, welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to use fog and cast shadows on the ground. So you notice in this shot here, my sub starts far away and uh, goes the other side. See in the fog here, deep ocean, okay, goes away, goes back into the fog. On the ground, you see the shadow, right? I got a little shadow catcher plane set up there to catch the uh, shadow of the sun of the sub from the sun above but you know murky scene right murky scene so I want to show you how to do that because I discovered something when I was working this uh, when I was working this shot so what I have here is I have that plane that 3d plane shadow that I named shadow catcher okay my light here let me go over my controls is uh, casting shadows is on the shadow catcher plane the is receiving shadows okay so this is normally how you'd set up shadows okay so in order to get the white to go away I just changed the blend mode of the shadow catcher to multiply let the hip film catch up here, and there's the shadow being cast on my ocean floor, which is my background. It's on a 360 plane. Okay, here, background plane, effects, 360 viewer, I'm using this underwater panorama that I have down here in the, in the stack, and it's turned off. Okay, so that's the background plane. Might as well lock that. So here's, this is what I'm after. Okay, but you can notice in this shot, uh, I have fog turned off. You can see my sub is just as clear back here as it is when it's close to us. You know, it's not obscured by deep water and I'm going for a, you know, far off in the distance coming through the murky water shot, shadows appearing on the ground. You know, and then disappearing out the other side, sub doing a camera, cameras whipping by the sub, so to speak. So in order to get uh, uh, fog, right, I just go down to the uh, cog wheel of the composite shop and you click on composite shop properties, the cog wheel. Okay, go to the advanced tab and, and enable fo fog, enable fog say that three times anyways i have this preset up for the distances that i want the fog to start and i want the fog to end and this is the color of my fog which kind of matches the background of my of my plate okay so i'm going to turn on fog okay ah there's my fog but my uh my shadow plane uh is illuminated in fog What's going on there? You know, you turn the fog off and uh, shadow comes back on the ground here. Okay, pull up here where we can see the shadow on the ground. There's my shadow right here. Go back and turn the fog layer back on. And the plane turns bright green. Same color as my fog. Okay, so what the, let me show you how to fix that. This is the way I found to fix it. There may be a better way, maybe an easier way, but this is how I fixed it. Okay, so I want to duplicate this comp shot right here. Okay, my main one. And I want to name the second one to uh, shadows. Okay. Right, click that on, double click that on. It takes me into, you know, an exact duplicate of my sub shot. Okay. So first thing you want to do is go down to the cog wheel and turn the fog off. Okay. Which will get us back to a shadow. All right. And then I want to turn off the, uh, Particle simulator, uh, which it, you, you may not have. I'm just going to, I have to turn it off. Okay. 
Here's the shadow catcher plane. I want to turn that blend mode back to uh, normal. Okay. I want to turn off the background. I'll unlock that. Turn off the background. I want to turn off uh, the model. Okay. But I want the model to cast shadows. So I go to its material settings. And I want to cast shadows if visibility is off. Which click that, and then I'm going to hide the sub mod. Okay, so now there's my shadow. Okay, on the ground. Now, to get this to work, what we're doing is making a composite shot of the shadow, we're baking the shadows into a, into a shot, and then we're going to bring it back into our main shot. But in order for this to work, remember a shadow plane is white on black. And it has, its blend mode has to be multiply, which takes away all the white. Okay. If we brought this in, you would have, like it is now, we just go over here, show you how. I'm going to bring this uh, shadow shot into uh, right above the shadow catcher plane. I'm going to turn it off. This is a comp we just made. I want to go back in here and turn off the, uh, uh, set the blend mode of the shadow catcher to multiply. Okay. Go back over here to the sub. Hit film catch up. Now the shadow plane turns completely black. Okay. Remember, we're using multiply. We need to use multiply here. Okay, if we click on multiply, nothing's happening because multiply takes away white, right? So we're going to go set this back to normal. going to go back to the shadows plane, okay? I want to set the blend mode of the shadow catcher to white on black. There's the shadow, and I want to add a white plane to the background. Okay, so now here is the entire shadow shot. It's far away, you can't see it, comes into the scene, whips around underneath the camera, camera whips out the other side. Probably can't see it, where hip film's having a hard time keeping up. Oh, there it is. Comes out the other side and then disappears into the murk. Okay, so there's our shadow catcher. We basically baked it in. Now I go back over here to the comp that we drug in, shadows, shadows, okay? Now you can see that my sub is there, but I lost my background. So remember, shadows, the blend mode to multiply to remove all the white, okay? All the white. So now here's my shadows back. Now, when I go back here to the very beginning, and turn the, the fog is enabled. Okay, you can see the fog is enabled now. In this shot, I, I disabled the fog, okay? So here's the fog enabled on this shot here. Get my cursor off that thing so you can see. See my sub is murky, gets closer to the camera. Uh, it's gonna emerge from murkiness. At the same time, the shadow is going to start appearing on the ocean floor underneath the sub. Okay, so that's how you get shadows to work with fog in HitFilm Pro. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.